keep your paws off my man. Clear? <laughs> Who's your man? Don't play stupid, Tubbers. Oh, and for the record, asking someone to babysit with you is super 90s. Can we please talk about the giant elephant in the room? Your sexuality. <laughs> you did this to me. You told Coach Shavester about my summer surgery. You have a surgery when you get your appendix out. You got a boob job. Yep, sure did. You can't hit me. Well, sure I can, unless you got yourself knocked up again, slut. <laughs> Stop the violence. <laughs> Hey, 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 what is this? What happened with Miss Speed of Family? Hey! Oh, please! Stop she her. has a family! She's a mother! Hey, dwarf. Anyone ever tell you that you dress like one of the bait girls on To Catch a Predator? Also, I'm more talented than you. I've kissed Finn, and can I just say, not worth a buck. <laughs> I would, however, pay $100 to jiggle one of his man boobs. Won't tell Lauren to look out for poachers who might mistake her for the endangered white rhino. You are such a hypocrite. Oh, like, you even know what that means. It means that your boyfriend is full of crap, hobbit. It was you. You're the one who complained to Principal Thickens about me. Yeah, and I do it all over again after that performance. Nobody tells you anything because A, you're a blabbermouth, and B, we all just pretend to like you. See, here's what's gonna go down. Two choices. You stay here and I crack one of your nuts, right or left, that's your choice, or you walk away and live to be a douchebag another day. Oh, and also, I have razor blades hidden in my hair. Mm-hmm. Tons, just all up in there. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I'll give it up. I know. Oh, what? That you're gay. What? I told you that. No one had to tell me. First of all, I saw you checking out Sam's ass the other day. You know, you really need to be more careful with your layering. I didn't. I was just seeing what jeans he was wearing. Like that's any less gay. <laughs> See, let me tell you how this gonna be, if I may. When I look at a person, I don't see someone who looks a certain way or has this or that amount of chromosomes. I just see someone who I may or may not have to destroy. So if you ever tell me what to do, I will end you. Some more backup for me. Oh, okay. You know what? I did not just leave one diva-driven glee club to join another. So let me write you a reality check, Richie bitch. I've seen what you can do. And what you can do is stand in the back, sway, and sing very, very quietly. Guys. Hurry up, go get some moist towels. We have to keep Finn wet before we can roll him back in the sea. Okay, you know what, Santana, Finn is in great shape and your meanness only highlights your own personal insecurities. And Rachel, your mustache is thicker than a Middle Eastern dictator's. Rachel's right. I haven't been fair to you. You're not fat. I should know, I, I slept with you. I mean, at some point I must have liked that you look like a taco addict who said one too many back alley liposuctions. Whoa. Please stick a sock in it or ship yourself back to Scotland. I'm trying to apologize to Lumps the Clown. What did you just say to her? I said I thought you were great. No, you're lying. No, he literally just said that. You tell her too? Santana. Everyone's gonna know now because of you. The whole school already knows. And you know what? They don't Not care. just the school, you idiot. Everyone. What are you talking about? Santana, we're worried about you. Worry about yourself, fetus face. I'd throw the smoke in your face, but it's not nearly scalding enough. Okay, but just when I'm trying to have a baby. A baby? With whose vagina? Hey, been lunch. So because you've been telling her to? You trying to turn her into a damn Rexy? What? No. Why would I, why would I because want Because you're that? a crazy evil bitch. Hey. Santana, we've graduated. It's really time to get over this. Get over what? You being jealous of me. And why would I be jealous of you? Professor Patches teach you that one in between quickies on his office couch? Does he get so turned on by teen moms who barely visit their kid? <gasps> Just don't get too close, girls. Unless you're immune to the herbs. Oh, sorry, I totally forgot how much room you need for all that hooker makeup you plaster on every day. I will totally slap you again. I would love for things to get physical. I will hit you so hard that you won't be able to wake up until you're old enough to be funny lady. You I am just as good as you. Unlike you, I can be popular in high school and still make it big after graduation. Just admit that no matter what you do or how far you go, you will never be able to scratch that itch. You will never be able to look down on me and redeem yourself because I was better than you then and I'm always going to be better than you. You are short, you are awful, and that is never going to change. I wanted that memorial gone because you're such a cold-hearted bitch. What did you just call me? A miserable... Self-centered bitch. I would like to say some words about my good friend, Rachel Berry. Rachel Berry is the most horrible human being on the planet. What? Can it troll? Santana. You have sold half the people in this room down the river more times than I can count so that you can get a solo or the lead in a musical. And I'm pretty sure that you don't know the names of the other half of the people. That's not true. All right, what is his name? 
Rick. Exactly. Thank you. I have a word with you. Oh, um, I'm gonna go. No, you know, Ralph, stay. Maybe I need someone who knows more than three dance moves. The finger wag, the shoulder shimmy, and the one where you pretend to twirl two invisible rainbow colored ribbons attached to your hips. So you know what? Maybe that's why it didn't work out. Maybe it has nothing to do with me and Brittany. Maybe it's just that you are utterly, utterly intolerable. Maybe that has something to do with it.